I think I like to think because we've we've uh, we've covered different songs about ice cream, right, right, in K-pop before. Or uh, get this, I scream. Oh, uh, oh. oh, oh look what I, I did! What Money, please. Thank you, record label. Money, please. <laughs> Greetings, Culture Weird, and we're back with more quarantine K-pop. Again, it's just Chris and I. Everybody else is off doing other things. Not being cool. I think that's. I think that's the general consensus. They're not cool. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Man. Eh, it's all right. Doesn't matter. Uh, Chris. Yes, Tyler. It's Blackpink time again. Dude, I've been expecting this for a while now. I know, right? I can't believe the time has finally come christmas comes twice a year maybe three times right. a year but this is one of those christmases maybe i mean they they could have a secret third video in the, in the they could for they could month. but this was on the docket the album, yeah we we knew this was coming however we only found out a couple weeks ago that the feature was selena gomez yes which is weird because we also were saying in like other videos we're probably going to start seeing more of this collaboration stuff i want to hey. say i want to say we said like selena gomez though didn't we we might have i, I don't know don't quote me might on that be, or look back on that go back and look at the other video yeah but i want to say we way, said something i want to say we said like selena gomez but anyways i heard i heard about this i saw the teaser and i was like i think i'm gonna be all about this it's it's crazy because i love selena gomez and i love black pink and I now just, they're both in the same video together i know like I'm, I'm super I'm, down for this i'm very excited should we just do it yeah dude i don't think we need to preface with anything i mean it's just yeah it's black pink and selena gomez and it's there we go this is ice, ice cream yeah ice cream we got subs on let's do it man on it two set play <laughs> very summertime vibe <laughs> So I see they're doing the BTS dynamite thing of just going crazy right. colorful. Oh my God. Yep. <laughs> oh, they're so gorgeous. <laughs> you know, I'd be eating a whole lot more ice cream if more of my ice cream shops look like this. Right? Mmm. I think a, I think a nice, nice Klondike. Maybe an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> it's just so fun. <laughs> Oh, doggo. Right? Golden Retriever. That's a huge cherry. It's a California cherry right there. GMO cherry. Oh my god, it's, it's a, a capybara. Capybara. I want one too. They're like little dogs. Right? Rocking the pin up. Nice. Right? I like the tennis outfits. Mm -hmm. What's up with that scooper? It's a, it's a mega scooper. <laughs> Give me that two scoop. Oh, there, there we go. go. Yeah. Is that a cat? Is it a cat? It is. Yeah, it's a cat. They're oh, okay. pillows. They're pillows. Cat pillow in a waffle cone? Yeah. I dig it. It's so cute. I like this. This is really fun. This is very this is a very refreshing song. Oh my god. 
They look like they're having so much fun, and I'm kind of jealous. Right? I want to have fun like this. Man. Dang, dude. Okay. It seemed um, too short. It is three minutes and three seconds. But, right. I mean, in terms of, like, the song, it's under three minutes. Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it is what it is. It, it'd be like that, man. So, okay. I'll tackle the song first. So, okay, song, okay. song, I think, is very refreshing. Like I said, it is a very summertime feel song. We've heard plenty yeah. of songs like this, too. Obviously, BTS dropped Dynamite, which has, again, very light sound to it, very playful, very fun. So I, I dig that. I think it I think it fits for the release date. Um, oh, yeah. So I, I really I really applaud it for that. It's very chill. It's very mellow. There's a lot of double entendre. There's a lot of wordplay with it, too. So it's yeah, right. It's fun. it's it's fun. It's right on that edge of, you know, OK, we get the sexual innuendos and, you know, we kind of get you know, like, OK, we, we we're we're in on that on that. So. I like that. Now, Blackpink, Selena Gomez, okay? They are, oh boy. They were probably near, they're near the top of like each respective region in the music industry. Mm-hmm. You know, Blackpink is arguably one of the biggest girl groups ever. Arguably. Right. I mean, this is probably going to give Dynamite a run for its money. It's already at how many millions uh, at the time of this recording? Uh, almost at 70 million and it's only been for 19 hours it's released so yeah i mean next to like girls generation it's like the biggest group ever and then you know selena gomez has a very strong following here in the united states and on the kind of the western part of the world regardless i think it's a perfect collaboration i think they they both can fit each other's tone um i like if they go back to the hip-hop sound uh, two choruses in or well i guess the second verse going in after the second chorus um so i really dig it good mix up good feel to it very summary let you vibe cool music video it's a goddamn it i mean it, oh, it, it's so it, much fun it's so much fun there's a lot of colors to it um again even with the wordplay and everything too they they illustrate it in what they're they're driving and the ice cream again it's very playful it's a uh, not erotic but kind of playfully erotic it's it's very mild it, um I think I like to think because we've we've uh, we've covered different songs about ice cream, right, right, in K-pop before. Or uh, get this, I scream. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh look what I, I did! Either. Money, please. Thank you, record label. Money, please. <laughs> but I look at this, and I and I don't want to say that I'm like comparing, but this is more of a toned down version of Hyuna's ice cream. It's it's. I didn't want to compare it to that either. It it did cross my mind. You're you're 100 right. It did cross my mind just a little bit. Because that one is extremely raunchy. It's really in your face. Yeah. And the end windows are uh, sevenfold. If you haven't watched that, please, for the love of God, watch it. It is. It's not WAP, but it's not this ice cream. It's somewhere in the middle. Yeah. It's somewhere in the middle, and there's like a. a a sassy uh it's way sassy cameo by by Psy at the beginning yeah, yeah, yeah. cool little thing. anyway we're not talking about that sorry i gotta go we're... back to that too but anyways uh music video is a goddamn again yeah. i think it great awesome. production value awesome on the wardrobes choreography they still do a little choreography it's a little more playful you know with each other and to the camera um yeah. them using the surroundings to their benefit um to mm-hmm. give it that more fun again kind of park amusement park kind of feel to it uh so oh, yeah. so i i really really like it again the colors pop so everyone's kind of really attracted to what's going on um but this is this this song you can vibe to without a doubt oh hard yeah hard. I, I want more now it's it's funny we, we like i said we, we joked about it months back that we're gonna start to see collaborations and get some big names and we were like eh? but i mean the last couple that we've got they're pretty solid Oh yeah, they're, they're pretty they're, solid. They're working out really well. It's not too washed out or too yeah. dumbed down. Yeah, uh, it's, it's right there in that sweet spot where they they I look agree. at the artist and they say, "What's your style?" Okay, here's our style. Sometimes we go a little harder. We'll just meet you in the middle. Right. No, you're 100 percent right. I, I think this is why it's such a good blend. It's a good mesh. Um, I'm curious to see if you know this is a this is something that 
maybe Selena Gomez pursues, or is that something that Blackpink pursues? I guess I guess where does it go from here? You know, per- um, I, I saw a thing I think on Instagram that Blackpink had posted where they were on a video call mm-hmm. with Selena Gomez, and she's like, "I've been such a huge fan for years." And yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember hearing that. Like a dream come true thing coming on, and then they were so excited to work with her. Because I'd be down, da- I'd be down if they did a few songs together, and they would like slowly oh, yeah. bring that out. Um, I'm always curious about like, I would I would say albums would be really tough because yeah, but I thought I had heard something. I don't know if you had heard this either, and uh, obviously somebody in the comments will let us know. Uh, I thought I had heard something that uh, Ariana Grande had checked this song out for Selena mm. possibly beforehand. I haven't heard that. I thought I had heard that she had a hand in this a little bit, but I don't know the specifics about that. Hmm. I don't know, man, but I, I, again, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, yeah, especially girl groups in the world and like, you know, like big women singers, you know, Selena Gomez of the world, the Ari Gron- Ariana Grande is those, those huge pop sensations uh oh, yeah. i think it's perfect i as as silly as that sounds and as as textbook as that as that sounds i mean i think it's a home run it it, it just it crazy ma- if it works yeah i i think it's just crazy enough to make sense if that makes yeah. any type of sense so if you're like okay we put the biggest girl group in the world and we put it with uh, a slam dunk artist in the west should work out yeah yeah so Hold on to your butts, everyone, because we're going to start to see more of this, and I think oh, it's yeah. going to be fantastic. I mean, <laughs> it's it's going to be fantastic. I honestly can't wait. The only thing I would say is, and you could tell this was conditions of mm-hmm. quarantine and COVID and all this stuff, was Selena's stuff was obviously not with the group because she had, was filming in L.A. Mm-hmm. It was quite obvious because you never saw them together. Um, I did notice that, and I, was, I, I jumped to that maybe thought, but... Eh, I don't know. I've ted, and this is technically my fourth time watching it, and I kept seeing. I was like, "All right, but when are we gonna like see them all together?" And then I was like, oh, "I guess I was okay, kind of hoping that you. near the end, maybe there was a big number where she's with Blackpink, like there, and they yeah. were there." Yeah, I never saw it, so that's when I was kind of like, I, "Yeah, I okay. see what they're trying to do." They, they they filmed in, they filmed in their locations. Whoever the editor was for this video, though, he did a fantastic job blending that shit. Mwah! Oh yeah, that, that's, you want to know what masterful editing looks like? Look no further than this video because I try and I you, suck at it. But I mean, yeah, yeah. that's how you make it look like two people are, or in this case, one person and a whole group are in filming in the same location. Yeah, it's incredible. You know, to to the actual editing part of it too. Um, you know, when you have all these different scenes and they're all crazy you know like giant inflatable ice cream cones while everyone's driving around in a motorized escalade you know mini yeah. mi, you know mini car it's right. how this looks like a hot mess how does it how do you make it coherent um and they did exactly. a phenomenal job and obviously oh. uh, the the production team and the the wardrobes were just were top notch it's it's realistically it's what i expect from a black pink music video it just Happen right. to have Selena Gomez, who is still incredible. So, yeah. love me. <laughs> love, <laughs> love me. Uh, I guess I'd also say the video is a goddamn. Ugh, it's incredible. The I, song I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give it a ten. It's, I think I, I think I'm gonna give the song like a nine and a half. It's it's again, it's not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of ice cream, which is Rocky Road, by the way. Um, oh. However, it's it is enjoyable. It is very refreshing, and like I said, listening to this on a summer day makes sense, um, yeah. as opposed to when there's six inches of snow on the ground and it's ten degrees. You're like, you know what I could go for? Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> as you stick your head out and you just, you know, have like <laughs> juice, you know, like cherry, you know, liquid, and just, yeah. <laughs> so, no, I thought this was great. I really enjoyed it. I know, oh, I know yeah. that shit's redundant, but it, it's it's incredible. It's absolutely fantastic. So I'm curious to see what the next in the next couple of days what it's going to do. If it's already if it's already doing almost 100 million the first day, uh, I, I, it's going to turn a lot of heads. I, it's gonna turn a lot of heads. We'll we'll see what the numbers look like after the weekend. Yeah, I think the weekend's going to be a be a pretty pretty solid indicator. But now it goes to the question: 
who is what are we going to see next who is going to be next what is going to be the group because you know we did bts and halsey then we've got selena gomez and black pink um what who i feel like a justin bieber may be in the mix or something like that yeah i don't i don't know if anyone could get jt you don't think so i don't know it 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 would really depend on who the group is and what they want to do okay i i've i've had this thought for a lot a while though how crazy would it be if they got like several guy groups together it doesn't have to just be bts sure sure. although it'd it'd probably turn out to be bts who would start this trend yeah if you got them with a boy band from the 90s <laughs> what 98 degrees like nick lachey can do what uh what uh bts does or xo like come on no no no. Just they're gonna like, break a hip they're gonna break a hip like just like a collaboration you don't think people would want to see in sync get down with some uh, with with oh, some uh, man dude how cool would that be <sighs> that's like that I don't know, dude. That's like some fusion shit right there that I don't know if anyone would ever want to see. Like, or is ready for. <laughs> or is ready. <laughs> the world is too young. They weren't ready for this. The blue bye bye, and then I died. <laughs> I yeah, dude. I don't know. Uh, I, I again, as cool as that sounds. Yeah, I don't know. I, it, it, they would have it, to be more relative, like fuck like one direction and like one direction XO and, or something like that and uh five seconds of summer with somebody yeah yeah or something like that it's yeah it'd be, it'd be yeah. great we have we have everyone that are in their th- late 30s and also everyone that's a teenager it's like that, that's perfect perfect demographic we have the entire demographic <laughs> and then, then we uh we get backstreet boys in there for the bombs 40 and up <laughs> <laughs> gotta get those suburban moms right there you know that's a that's oh. an important demographic out there <laughs> but no i i really dug this but yeah this is this is a whole other conversation we could literally talk for hours about I, without uh, a doubt yeah. but yeah. um i'm i'm yeah like i said i'm curious to see what's gonna be the next big thing to follow here um yeah I it's gonna happen if, i want to see if blackpink has a third video for us because like i said the album comes out early october mm-hmm so, are we going to get one in September, towards the end of September, right before the album releases? It could, it probably. Seems like a smart move to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, Especially if it's not a collaboration. Maybe it is Ariana Grande. Who knows? You want to, you want to, you know, it's weird. I was thinking because Blackpink likes to do some things that are maybe like a little bit weird. I'm feeling like a Sia. Like, possible. Let's Blackpink see. and like a Sia, I think, would be pretty dope. They've already worked with Lady Gaga this year already. Mm-hmm. They've already worked with uh, now Selena Gomez. Mm-hmm. So maybe. Or yeah. it could just be another single by themselves. It could be. Which would still like, are, not be bad we, at all. We already saw what that happens when they do that this year. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> one of the largest, uh, most viewed videos in 24 hours. It's crazy. To come yeah. out of this year. And the only thing, and like we said, the only thing that would beat it would be BTS. And they did. Yeah, I mean, who would have thought that? I mean, granted, we 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 all thought it. Oh, let's be honest, right here. I'm just downplaying. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't think they would beat it with that kind of song, though. What? How you like that? And then no, no, dynamite. No. Yeah. Okay. I didn't think that would ever take like that. I yeah. I, I'm, I guess I'm really surprised too. Now we're just completely off this video right here, but that's fine. We'll yeah. we'll talk about this because I don't. I, yeah. It's our video. Fuck it. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I guess I'm just crazy surprised because how you like that and dynamite are like. Pfft, two completely different songs well it's also two completely different groups and two so. completely different groups and two different well, I, was, I say two different demographics I, there's plenty of overlap for it um I, again I saw so much TikTok stuff with how you like that so much of that oh yeah so much of that so I feel like that's a really good indicator as weird as that sounds is like social media stuff and like people and making people memes and making videos you. and emulating oh, stuff yeah. So I don't know if I'm going to see that with Dynamite. I I don't know. You maybe, might see it with this, though. Maybe. I don't know. But, we'll see. Man, just... Uh, 
get me out of here, man. Get me out of here. I'm, I'm all hot and bothered now. <laughs> He's got to sit down and think for a bit. I'm gonna have to think about like all my life, life experiences right now. Lead me up right. to this point. All right. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, ring the bell for notifications. We post every week now. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah, dude. And um, you can check all of our social media. Just search Cauldron of Weird on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, let's see. We also have a Patreon uh, that we're – we always say that we're retooling it. We, we just need to – Listen, we're busy. We're busy. We, we got lives. Yeah. 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 All, all four of us have normal jobs on top of that. So. <laughs> That's why if you give us more money, then we can all quit our jobs and do this. There we uh, go. We have – all four of us have Twitch, uh, Bryant at – Ragtime Roast Beef, Chris at MC underscore Booty Stink. I'm going to make Corey a big effort. stole our uh, channel name, and he's just using Cauldron of Weird. <laughs> Why not, man? And, exactly. And I am unnecessarily underscore filthy. Got to use that underscore. What are you, you going to do, do on your channel? I don't know. I've been trying I'm to think t- about I'm this telling you, dude, months. you got to start doing boxing shit and, like, models. I'm models, telling you. Models, just go on epic rants. Dude, Yes. <laughs> People dig that shit. Just going on, they're like, oh, gaming, gaming, gaming. Guy ranting about random crap. I want to look at this. You would be surprised. People are crazy. Oh, you know, stop. You know what's, what's really stop funny? You, rant. If you're just joining us, let me catch you up. <laughs> so you know what I was thinking about? I was like, I really, I, I, I truly want to try this with my channel because I think it'd be a lot of fun. It would be huge, like huge games that mm-hmm. have been out. I'm talking like perfect dark and like all these games games that i have never played and just bitch about the entire time (laughs) like and and i'm I'm trying to think of a name the name would probably be like you haven't like what you haven't played this it'd be like that'd be like the series name it's like how have you classic games i hate like classic games you love i hate like there something like that where it's like dude you need to play ocarina of time and then just start playing ocarina of time which i've never played ocarina of time and i would just go this game kind of sucks dude <laughs> you just, know i had that same thought not to get off the rail because this video is already too long i had that same thought i was in a store and i saw all those all the gamecube zelda games lined up in a row yeah and i looked at brandon and i was like look at this pile of shit right here <laughs> and, he, and what <laughs> And uh, no, literally, some dude turned around and he's like, "You better not be talking shit about Zelda." <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, people will just like lose their fucking minds if you're just like, "Yeah, you know this game that you think is really good, Halo." Yeah, Halo is kind of shit. And you're like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" Exactly. Like Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. You're know, like, or like Assassin's Creed Two. You're like, this game kind of sucks. But it would have to be games I've look- never played. Oh yeah, yeah. I would genuinely play games I've never played and just be like, "This kind of shit, man." <laughs> yep. Anyway, we have a uh, <laughs> we have a merch <laughs> store linked in the description. Um, am I forgetting something else? Podcast. Oh, sponsor and sponsors. We have a podcast. We have a podcast uh, that we need to get back to doing, but we we're uploading every other week to that. Uh, you can search wherever you get podcasts for Cauldron of Weird. I try to get them every. I, a lot of our videos. I've been trying to get them every day. It's just okay. been really tough when you're working like sixty plus hours a week, and you're just yeah. like, I'm fucking tired. We're posting a lot of our videos on our podcast channel too, so you can check those out mm-hmm. if you don't have time to watch YouTube. And they're great. You, they're great to listen to. And what was the last thing? We said Eargasm earplugs. Oh right, the sponsor. So our sponsor is Eargasm earplugs. Um, What's Corey always say? They lower the volume by 25%. By 25 Ooh. decibels. 25 Not even decibels. percentage. Full 20, decibels. You full believe that? decibel coverage. <sighs> so that when concerts come back, whenever they happen In to do that. In 2038. Uh, you won't go deaf. Although, then again, it's been so long that anyone's been to a concert, you might just want to go deaf. <laughs> <laughs> True that, but, man. Uh, who are you? We're just saying protect your ears, even if you could use them uh, if you're in a heavy work environment with loud equipment. There you go. And uh, we'll see you in the next one, guys. We'll see everyone. Thanks. Love you. Bye. Bye. Well, that was okay until we went off the rails for 20 minutes. <laughs>